When I started in 73, I was on patrol for three years, and then I went into narcotics. And I remember the first night that I came to work, uh, I was on midnight. I didn't have to go to training before you uh, were able to go out in a car. They put me with a uh, veteran officer, and we started training the first night. The officer that I was riding with stopped the vehicle, and the first time those lights came on, that was the first time I'd been in a vehicle that had revolving red lights on top of it. And that was kind of interesting because I had never seen it from that point of view before. The emergency lighting systems that you had on the vehicles back then were nothing compared to what you have now. We had one channel for the police department, and then there was a channel that you could go to that really was a Department of Public Safety channel that you could talk on. There was no such thing as an in-car computer. Uh, the radars back then were just starting to come out. So I was a sergeant for a, a couple of years, and then I started moving up in the ranks. The biggest challenge for any chief is to address what crime is going on and uh, try to get a handle on it, try to, to uh, reduce it, try to make the citizens feel uh, safer try to make them feel more comfortable during the day when they're uh, going through their daily life and then at night when they're, when they're asleep. Uh, I would hope that the citizens feel that the police department provides professional police services. That's what I, I try to tell everyone uh, that we do is that we provide professional police services because we have professional police officers. Well, I think the police department has made a lot of strides as far as crime reduction and as far as addressing how to help the community. The police chief is the best job in the police department. And just the things that I do, a lot of people would not uh, want to do, but I enjoy just everything that I do as chief.